tactics are very nuanced. Um, they're not going to be in your face, hey, I want you to do this this way from the beginning. Human trafficking in East Tennessee is more common than you might think. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation says it is the second fastest growing criminal industry. Last year, the Community Coalition Against Human Trafficking reached more survivors of human trafficking than ever before. 75% of those survivors were female, one in three were minors. Social media posts making the rounds online are calling out tactics, the fear of human traffickers using those tactics to grab victims is prevalent. But tonight, we hear from experts who say some of those fears are unfounded while the real threat simmers out of the spotlight. 10 News reporter Amelia Young joins us to explain. Amelia. John, you may have come across a picture like this with a cloth or a zip tie tied to a car handle or something placed on a windshield. Some believe this distracts a person enough for a trafficker to grab them, but that's false. Officials say traffickers tactics are completely different. Um, the problem is is great here in East Tennessee. Human trafficking can happen anywhere, but the issue continues to grow in Tennessee. The Community Coalition Against Human Trafficking has reached 150 survivors so far this year alone. Well, we certainly have all received those um, scary social media posts about someone stalking or following somebody in a parking lot of a mall or a shopping center. Or posts about an item tied to your car or a note left on the windshield. They make people believe traffickers are targeting them, trying to slow them down. But officials like Tara Davis say posts like this do more harm than good. That's more than likely not someone trying to human traffic someone. The posts circulate on social media, distracting from the actual issue of how traffickers target victims. Specifically, human trafficking is going to occur more um, intimate than that. It's going to be more of a one on one personal relationship that's formed with someone that you meet. Davis says traffickers tactics are very nuanced. It's going to be kind of like Romeo. You know, I'm going to romance you. I'm going to meet your needs. I'm going to make you dependent upon me. It's a long term process that can be hard for someone involved to recognize. But she says in any situation, always be aware of your surroundings. Take the precautions. If you see something strange, if you feel something funny about um, someone, definitely do something about it. Don't dismiss it. And to report possible human trafficking, call the Tennessee Human Trafficking Hotline at 1-855-558-6484. John. Amelia Young on the story tonight. Thank you. Right now online, you can read more about warning signs for human trafficking in our series Selling Girls. You can also hear from survivors about their experience. Again, that's available through our WBIR app.